Hi everybody, today we're going to start chapter 7. So in your math journals, we will start on page 535. We're going to classify angles. A vertex, you need to know what a vertex is. A vertex is the point where two rays meet. And then on this page, they're asking you to make a time on the clock for a right angle that is exactly 90 degrees, an acute angle that's less than 90, obtuse, greater than 90, and a straight angle that's exactly 180 degrees. So go ahead and do that. Pause the video quick while you make those four angles. So a right angle, I'm going to guess most of you put 3 o'clock. That would be a right angle. 9 o'clock, 3.30, 6.45, okay? Anything that is 90 degrees. An acute angle, something smaller than 90 degrees. So maybe 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, maybe 9, 10 in the morning, maybe 6.35. Uh, greater than 90 would be... Um, maybe you would put, instead of 3 o'clock, maybe you'd put 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Those are more than 90 degrees. So those would be obtuse. A straight angle, exactly 180 would be uh, 6 o'clock, 345, maybe 135. Those are exactly 180, a straight line, basically. Then at the bottom of the page, the angle formed from the bike ramp ramp what type of an angle is that acute obtuse right or straight and estimate the the measure so that's just a guess so pause the video and put those two answers in so the angle would be acute estimate the the measure would probably be around 20 to 25 degrees is what i would say then next page 536, vertical angles, very, very important. You need to know what vertical angles are. They are line, they are angles that are straight across from each other. So in this example, two and four would be vertical, or one and three. Basically, vertical angles use the same lines. Um, congruent angles are the same measure. So vertical angles are congruent. Very, very important. You have to know that. Um, write that in your notes. Anytime you need to write notes, want to pause, pause the video, slow it down, okay? And then two angles are adjacent, it means if they're side by side. One and two, two and three, three and four, one and four, okay? Those are all adjacent, side by side. Name the angles shown at the right, Okay, there are four ways to name angles, um, depending on if they're, they're labeled like this one is. This could be angle 1, this could be angle Y, it could be angle XYZ, it could be angle ZYX. It could not be YZX. It is also not XZY. The Y is the vertex. That's where those two lines meet, X and Z. That's where they meet at Y. That has to be your middle point when you're naming that angle. Um, and then classify it. It is acute. So pause the video and do A, B, and C there. Name each angle in four ways and then classify them. So letter A would be you could do ABC, CBA, angle B, and angle 2, and classify it. It is a right angle. Letter B would be RST, TSR, angle S, and angle 3, and classify it. It is obtuse. Letter C, you could name it LM, L, LMN, NML, angle M, or angle 4. Those are the four names. Now, classify it. That is a straight angle. Page 537. Identify a pair of vertical angles. One and three are vertical. Two and four are vertical. I just did letter D for you. So, those are the vertical angles. Um, adjacent angles. It tells you one and two are adjacent. And then letter D. You write down another pair of adjacent angles. Pause the video while you do that. OK, 
Okay, another pair of adjacent. One and two are adjacent, as it told you. You could have put angle two and three, three and four, four and one. Those are also adjacent. What is the value of X in this figure? Okay, so you need to know that, ver well, which you already know in this chapter, vertical angles are congruent. They are the same measure. So that means 2x plus 2 is the same as its vertical angle, 130. So just using algebra that we've already learned, 2x plus 2 equals 130. Subtract 2 from both sides, 2x is 128. So angle, or so that x is 64. Now the angle is not 64, x is 64. The angle is 130. Make sure that you know you're just solving for x here on these. You're not, you're not putting down the name of that or the amount of the angle. Now, letter E says, what is the value of Y? So you do the same thing there. Pause the video while you're figuring that one out. Write it down, show your work. So 3Y minus 10 should equal 50. Add 10 to both sides. So 3Y equals 60. Divide by 3, Y equals 20. The angle is 50 degrees, but y equals 20. It was asking you for y. Okay, page 538. The value of x, so now you have a straight line. Okay, on that sidewalk, there's a straight line. All straight lines equal 180 degrees. If you don't know that, write that down. That's something good to put in your notes. So that means 115 plus 5x, adding them together equals 180. Subtract 115, so 5x must be 65. So that means that angle right there is 65, but it's not asking you for that angle, it's asking you how much is x. So 5x equals 65, divide by 5, x is 13. Okay, guided practice, try those three, pause the video, Name the angle in four ways, then classify it. So you should have wrote D, E, F, F, E, D, angle E, or angle 2. Those are the four names. Classify it. That is acute. Number 2, the value of X. 2X plus 4 equals 100. Subtract 4 from both sides. 2X equals 96. Divide by 2, x equals 48. Identify a pair, number 3, of vertical angles and adjacent angles on the railroad sign here. So vertical would be 1 and 3 or 2 and 4. Two pair there are vertical angles, 1 and 3 and 2 and 4. Adjacent would be 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, or 4 and 1. Those are all adjacent. So what I would do would be assign homework now at this point on those problems. Look back, listen to the recording if you have any questions, and we will see you later.